morning everybody. Okay, firstly I want to say I am honored and um, it's a privilege that I don't take for granted to be speaking here. Oh okay, we're going to have this issue again. Alright, can you hear me clearly now? Yeah, so I said firstly I want to um, say that I'm honored and um, it's a privilege that I don't take for granted to be standing here. So um, thank you for coming to listen. Thank you. Well, you know this thing is a bit difficult. Um, when they want to set you up, they, they invite you for an event, and then they put an awesome speaker to speak before you. <laughs> they set the bar so high that, Dr. Malik, that was awesome. Let's put our hands together for Dr. Malik. All right, like the uh, company introduced, uh, my name is um, Anthony, um, I run Revery. Um, so today I'll try to do the, uh, the techie side of um, the things that Dr. Malik has talked about, you know. It's almost impossible to beat uh, what Malgaia has dropped in there. So I'll try to talk on the techie side. You know, and um, so is there anybody here who thinks, um, you know, the cost of doing this business of ours, selling real estate, you don't need to, you know, have a social media presence, you don't need to do um, anything that has to do with the internet of things. Is there anybody who thinks like that here? Okay, you raise your hand or if you think like that, it's not bad, we would have conversations around it. Okay, obviously nobody. You need to break into new markets. You need to break into new um, opportunities that you probably don't know even exist. And what gives us the better platform to do that than the internet of things, social media, and everything that it comes with. Hey, everybody's going to work. Let me put out an educational video, you know? So Monday is for educational video. Tuesday, what kind of video do I want to put out? You know, have a list. Okay, maybe on Wednesday I'll put out um, two property video. Have a list. So, at, at that point, it's easier to flow. It is easier to measure your uh, your growth and how you are, you know, consistently putting out these things. You know, so don't leave it to the wind. Have a timetable and follow it judiciously. All right. Are you following? Okay. Let's. Okay. Then. Okay. Go back. Go back. Just go back. Thank you. So uh, what I talked about. Um, do adding a luxury appeal, putting videos that using your phones to because our phones are powerful, using videos to shoot, um, using your phones, your phone to shoot videos that are you know cinematic that would um, cause someone to stare and say, ah, what's going on here? These are like some of the things. These are like the effects you could do with some of these applications that we mentioned earlier to um, just give that very nice appeal to your video. Let me tell you one thing. If you hold your phone like this, record yourself walking from here to that point. Take it to any of this application, reverse that video. Trust me, that video is going to look way cinematic. I'm not saying uh, uh, catch yourself walking in reverse. No, let's say I am um, picking a detail of a house. Maybe it's this chandelier. Of course, to, for, for, um, uh, to be steady, I probably have to just shoot it like this. You know, put that video, um, in any of this application, reverse that video and have it coming back. Trust me, it's going to look cinematic. It's just an illusion of the mind. It will look like, oh, this wasn't taken with a phone. This was probably taken with, you know, a DSLR, proper um, camera team and all of that. You see those stuff on um, those nice property videos where it's like, um, the speed probably runs into the house and then slows, shows you maybe, let's say I'm coming from outside. I don't know if you've seen those effects where maybe the, the camera just runs straight into the house, slows, and then it's showing you like details, it runs again. I don't know if you feel me, but those are called speed ramping. And these are things that you can easily do on splice, you can easily do on, um, on in shots. I think I remember your face from our class. So, we, we had a, what's it called, a, the master class, they call those things? Yeah, a master class where we're showing practical things on how to actually use these applications to make videos that are actually, you know, good. Mind you, the goal here is to have people stop. 
while they are scrolling and say, what is this person saying? So let's continue. You have hyperlapse. You know, um, these are so on your um, your gimbal. You can actually shoot time lapse because it's a time lapse on your phone. But uh, time lapse itself needs some kind of um, um, steady. Your phone has to be steady. I don't know. And to explain what time lap time lapse um, is, I wish I added a video to this so I can get a feel of what it looks like. A time lapse is like. Those very fast, um, um, those very fast, uh, sped videos that runs maybe straight to a, a particular object. You want to show a particular detail in a property. So I'm going to find a way. I, I hope this uh, there's a maybe there's a WhatsApp group or something that I can drop some of these videos to just give you an idea of what this feels like. You get so, but these are like. By the way, if you check your phone, if you use an iPhone, there's a time lapse on your iPhone. I'm sure nobody has shot a, a video with a time lapse here because you probably don't even know what the kind of videos you can make from things like that. You get so these are some of the things that you can actually adopt. You have slow way, it's maybe a slow motion, you know, just give you that um, 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 DSLR luxury cinematic feel to your videos. You know, you're on the site after you said them. Um, come and buy this um, stuff and you are you, let me tell you something have you seen this video where people go to site and you stand in front of a property and they are talking oh um, this land um, gemstone is this it's that is that but then you keep talking and then because you're trying to shoot just one minute video the property itself is showing in the background but the voice continues how many people cannot make videos like that cannot not can views where because it's one minute mind you there's a lot to say about gemstone it's an awesome property so if you start talking about gemstone and uh, you want to keep you one minute or so you might end up not showing um some of the things that you probably want to say because you are let's say gate house is somewhere there and then the football pitch is somewhere else you know you probably will struggle to run from here to that place under one minute to do these things but when you shoot a video where while you're saying oh gemstone is an awesome estate in Vegeleki you know you have a b-roll or your voice continues but the video itself is showing you know maybe that part of the stuff you are trying to explain so these are stuff that you can actually do with the in short you can do it with splice you know it's uh, simply called you know b-rolling you get you keep the uh, one video running you layer it with another video and then more like masking and then you have uh, the second one showing whatever you want to show and um, um, the audio of the previous one that you want to just keep you know continuing are we flowing okay let's did someone say no i thought i heard no okay um let's continue now you know me i'm all out for shooting very luxury kind of videos videos that you will see you will love don't you want to see your videos and be like now me shoot them some people are very shy of, of that's why you don't post it you shoot there are people here who have videos of sites that they've been to you will leave your house go to your bedroom, like you shoot from like morning till evening go home you will not post anything you're not confident of what you shot you get mind you let perfection not be the first thing put it out people will vibe to it but if you are trying to, for me that I'm trying to do stuff that I, I want to enjoy, I want people to enjoy it. I want people to think of that page where, you know, these people, they sell very, you know, classy, awesome properties and stuff like that. That's what they call a rule of thought in video, a rule of thought in videography. And um, it's simply placing um, the objects in um, a one third frame of your screen. It's, it's also using photography too. You know, so instead of standing in the middle, and the whole concept of this thing is you are um, psychologically um, telling whoever is um, watching this thing that this is not um, a roadside realtor that does come and buy. We put money into shooting this video, even though we shot this video with our hand, with our phone. You know, you are, you are, because we, we're a lot, we do the same thing. There's a lot of us here that do the same thing. So let's try to create some kind of uh, uniqueness or difference. Oh, I like that guy for the kind of um, uh, quality stuff he puts up. I like uh, Dalami for his suits and his, um, and his, um, you know, the kind of outfit he wears. So do something that makes you different. So what the rule of thought does is 
you put your object, so assuming this is you, you're standing on one third of your frame. This is perfect if you are doing your um, um, interviews or you are doing your educational video. On this side, you might have your nice frame, you might have your bookshelf, you might, maybe it's your office space. Trust me, videos like that will come and looking very cinematic that if, when you get on, on YouTube and watch them, you might even think, you know, this person has a four-man uh, media crew standing in front of him shooting this particular, you know, video. Are we flowing? Yeah. All right, let's go to the next um, stuff. So, no, tell me, tell me, it's okay. All right. So, these are other stuffs that you can also add. Because there's a lot, because, let me tell you, on these platforms, Let's say Instagram, for example. Some people scroll through Instagram with their audio turned off. Do you know that? Yes. Now, all the awesome things you said about gemstone, they're not going to hear it. And mind you, gemstone doesn't, uh, uh, what's it called? Gemstone, so and co, doesn't have houses on it already. It's just land. You get So it's just you find girl, you are, and uh, just, the person is viewing it, you know, without um, text. They just continue with that. But when you have, um, what's it called? Um, text, I'm, I'm talking about text in the area now. What you have, also find a way to write some of the things. If it's the location, have it written on the screen while you're talking about the video. If it's your name, have it written on the screen. Because some of our pronouns, uh, some of uh, the pronunciation of our, uh, uh, no, it's easier for someone to actually remember your name when they read it out. Do you understand? So, you, you use text layering. There's a color grading. What I mentioned, if you're shooting a video, maybe in a blurry environment or, or maybe in a dull, rainy, on a dull, rainy day and stuff, you can use a color grading. What I mentioned from Focus Life, you also have these things on InShot. But I don't like InShot because uh, the color grading on InShot because it's filled with green and purple and all those funny stuff. Don't make green grass turn to purple videos. So for transitions too, because you're trying to show, put out the cinematic videos, you know, if you blend four or five videos together. It just goes jump cut from this to this, from this to this. But because we are all trying to put out videos that are, you know, little bit, you know, um, stunning, nice, looks like we're paying someone to shoot it for us, use the transitions you have on these applications. Don't use plenty, plenty circle going from, just use things that are nice, but at the end of the day, you are getting yourself uh, uh, videos that are of good, you know, quality and of good appeal. Now, what can make a video or break a video that is very important to is the music, your choice of music that you use. Um, do you know that all the videos on Instagram right now are reels? So, except you're shooting for YouTube, don't ever shoot a landscape video, except you're shooting for YouTube. TikTok portrait, 916. Instagram 916 because you can shoot a 169 that it's a landscape on Instagram but what it does is you have your video in the middle of the screen and then you have black um, stuff on the top and on the base and let me tell you if a company that is almost half a trillion naira that is Facebook decides that we want to go full um, uh, 916, which is a um, portrait, it simply means on their algorithm, because mind you, the whole goal, how they make this money is to keep all of us on that, on that app uh, and show us art. So they've looked at it and they found that, that people interact best with a 916 video. That's why they say, we are taking out products, let every video be real. Let every video, let every video be 916. There can be TikTok, which is a um, TikTok. That's like, um, in like the last two years, when it comes to revenue, when it comes to engagement, TikTok is like the, big, the biggest. Like they made more money, they had more engagements than any other social media um, uh, platform. That, and they are also using 916. So except you're shooting for YouTube, all your videos on this platform should be a portrait video. Let it be big. Let it show you know, your full self and stuff. People will vibe with it better. You feel me? Okay, now I was talking about music. Someone asked a question about virality. One of the easiest ways to put out a viral video, okay, well, maybe, I think I'm almost done. One of the easiest ways to put out a viral video is to tap into the, uh, the, the uh, uh, viral potential that comes with music. So, Instagram before, you put out a very nice song, they'll flag it down, they'll tell you all those um, copyright issues. What they have done is, they identify 
uh, the original. That's the first person that probably used the song. Sometimes it's usually the artist that you know produced the song. If it's a DJ mix, it's usually the DJ that produced the song. They identify that person. I don't know on the back end how they do their copyright issues with that person, but if they identify that person, it is they they won't. Um, stress you about whether it's a popular song, whether it's uh, viral, whether it's whatever. But because they've identified a particular one um, um, uh, uh, original owner of that song, it is easier for the algorithm, you know, to um, traction videos that were made with that song and we give them views even outside your followers. You have 10k followers. You use a song that is going viral. You tap into it, you make a video with that particular song. Sorry? And you're looking at your feed and you are seeing, you have 10k followers and you're seeing 200,000 people viewing that particular video. Where did they come from? You are tapping directly from um, the virality that is coming from the music on that uh, phone. So, why do you want to post? Let me tell you something you can do. Go on Instagram first because some of these viral songs are, uh, songs are short. Try to look for a long one. You know, so that it gives you time to say whatever you want to say. And then go make a video, um, uh, whatever video you want to post. When it's time to post, pick that particular song from where you've saved it. Add it to your stuff. You know, measure them. you can increase or reduce the volume so that people get to hear you too. And it's not just song that are playing. And then use those songs. You will end up benefiting from followers that are not in your circle, followers that are not following you, but they're coming from... Um, the virality that that's part, that particular song has gained, you get. Are you feeling me? Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, let's skip this. I wanted us to do that, but let's skip this. Okay. Um, we talked about flyers, right? And I was telling you, um, let it be personal branding to what you do. If you want to post flyers, if you pick an iStone flyer, these are some applications. Um, uh, what's it called? Okay. Move to the next one. Yeah, these are some applications that you can use to cover up iStone um, name and um, stuff. Put your own thing. You know, there's Canva. It's the easiest. You know, there's Lightroom. You have a dull picture that is so you want to brighten it up. You want to make it look better. There's Lightroom for you to use. It's a free application owned by Adobe. You know, and then, um, okay. I don't know if you could spot any difference from these two pictures. It was shot on a sunny day, but um, it's just... I think the song was maybe behind or so, so I think in front of me, I can't remember. So the greens are dark and stuff. This one will traction if I run ad with it better than this one. It is fact. This will traction better on ad than this particular one. So these are just some of the things, you know, you can um, actually explore. Your phone is powerful. Don't look down on your phone. The, like I said when I started, the goal is to build teams someday, to build a business that isn't one-man business, so that we'll stop being hustlers, to um, have a media team someday, even in our companies. So, but for now, let's make good use of what we have, this phone in our hands. Shoot good stuff, put out good content, and I'm sure it will traction. Thank you. Just two questions, please. Thank you so much, Mr. Anthony. We enjoyed that uh, session. Thank like you. you said, that um, if we can take a uh, pistol, <laughs> cover the Jepstone or the iStone name to cover the top and then I put, up, put our own company name. Okay. But if we do that and at the end of the day the clients want to go to the office and they see iStone instead of my company, is there no possibility of losing that client as a result of a uh, trust? Okay. It says the different from flyer then I'm bringing it to iStone office. Okay, that's a great question. Let's not put him down. Laugh for yourself, bro. Um, this is a gemstone. You are brokering deals on a gemstone. So when they want to buy, you will take them. Because mind you, let me tell you, let's, people don't say this enough, but let's say it. Some clients can be, they can be shady. People don't want to pay commission. Some, not all. Some. So don't fall into that case of, um, don't be that person that you say, I was the one you contacted first. You now did this, you now don't. So it's like, have a conversation. So you want to buy the property. Okay, all right, this is, this is. Okay, let's go to the company. He's going to ask yourself. At that point, you tell them it's owned by iStone. 
you get. But what? Imagine the kid scenario where you put out everything and they didn't even bother um, hitting you up. You just call ice stone and buy it. You've lost the deal. It happens. You might not know, but it happens. It happens a lot. <laughs> okay. Okay. I enjoyed the lesson today, and I would like to ask regarding the sound and music effects. Okay. Like unlike me, I use real triple music. They are not necessarily Nigerian music. Okay. So I don't know if you advise that okay. as part of the process to take or something. Okay. Thank you. That's awesome. So I also use royalty free music, but you want to benefit from all this crazy virality that is going on with um, Instagram right now. So like this video I did too. There's a video just before this one. I just took like two clips, added it together, maybe 10 seconds video. But I used a viral song, and that video did better than this um, uh, one showing everything. You get so balance it. Use your royalty free music, but trust me, there's no royalty free music on Instagram that is viral. And go use those viral ones too. So have a balance. This one showing all the details of the house, I used a normal song. But because I want to benefit from virality, you know, I beat a song that is already trending. It's about 10 seconds. Just put two or three clips from this video, and I have myself um, uh, a video that is bringing in people outside the followers that I have. Get that? Thank you very much for the session. Is there an app? you recommend for creating the rule of thoughts video i told you focus live focus live yeah focus only live. only that's the only app on i think even android i'm not sure it's on android but that's the only app generally because i think their sales this is called their computational photography that's their, their, tag, their tagline that's the only app that does that thing there's no other app that does uh, booking effects yeah <laughs> Filmic, okay. My boss here said Filmic does. F I L M I C. I think Filmic should be on Android. Yeah, Filmic Pro. I think I know that app. Oh, okay. The oh, okay. On your phone, on your iPhone, the camera itself. Go to the settings. Turn on your grid. That's why grid was added there. So you see the uh, demarcation itself. So. You are not going to see the grid when you are done shooting. No. It's not going to come, but when you are shooting, it's helping you stay where you want to stay. If you are the person behind, maybe holding the camera for someone, it is helping you place the person where you want the person to be. So on your iPhone, go to the settings and turn on, go to your camera settings on iPhone and turn on grid. You would see the three lines. I think it's on, uh, it's on, uh, it's on Samsung too. Yeah.